hello comrade welcome back to workers and resources Soviet Republic my name of course is Obda Potato let's get right down to business so in the last episode we christened our brand new oil production area oil Minsk and I placed a whole bunch of these well what are they called oil rigs I mean whatever whatever they're called oil rigs yeah we placed a whole bunch of these bad boys and it was um it was super good uh, between episodes I have worked extensively to connect all of these oil rigs up to a couple of pumping stations so basically what I've done is I've connected three oil rigs up to a pumping station and then what we're planning to do in this episode and what I'm planning to do in this episode is connect up the pumping stations to the uh, to the storage and then I mean it's already connected up to the oil and fuel loading so that's all we really need to worry about. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about what else I've done uh, between episodes because it's actually quite important and fairly relevant. Uh, you might notice that uh, I've let it run for about six months and that's because, well, we needed a lot of money to fund all of the pipelines over here. Primarily, it was the, the pipelines which were, uh, which were very, very expensive. Uh, so, first things first, I've set up another train that transports uh, raw coal ore from uh, Kolgrad to the uh, to the to the industry grad uh, train aggregate unloading, and in order to do that, I've set up a sort of a, a train station bypass. The train station is still the train stations in Potato Grad are still as messy as ever, but now we don't have the cargo trains uh, chugging past the the station in order to get there so that's quite nice it's it's a little bit of a, a simple modification really it wasn't too expensive to do uh, I kind of like how it looks honestly but uh, is it really that necessary I don't know we'll, we'll wait and see uh, the trouble is really is that we've basically got a, a second heck of you know a second really long train which is now going to be running up and down the track so in order to accommodate for that I've basically dueled this entire bit of track up to uh, up to Kolgrad. That can be deleted. There we go. Uh, yep, so now we've got two trains that will run uh, on that same stretch of track. The thought process is I also slightly tweaked some of the uh, some of the existing track that we had. I tried to tried to avoid uh, any train conflicts whenever there's uh you know whenever there's a, there's a there's a series of tracks crossing over there's always the potential for nonsense to arise so i've tried to change it slightly to make it a little bit more workable i think we're still going to have faults you know there's still going to be issues but without using bridges to bridge the track as opposed to having you know tracks run over other tracks i don't think that there's any way to avoid that uh, you know, we might change that in the future, but for now, I, I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that at all. Uh, also, something else to keep in mind is that, I mean, I've kept an eye on, I've kept an eye on uh, chemical production throughout this entire time. It's not super impressive. The maximum amount per day is half a ton, which is about a thousand rubles worth give or take so we're probably going to end up as i say using those chemicals to uh to produce clothes but at the moment we're just gonna sell them off there's no reason not to right uh this area is all uh ready to go uh, we did that in the last episode so what we're gonna try and do today as i say is connect up all of the oil source uh, we'll also electrify the entire area and we'll get the oil pumping and then we also want to set up some train routes for the oil to be delivered i've let the the game run on as i as i said uh, we need money uh, this is going to be a very very expensive endeavor especially if we're using the, the the big old blue trains so we will need to uh we'll need to spend a heck of a lot of money on buying trains but i'm not really worried about it yeah anyway uh, the whole rationale behind buying a second train between to run between Colgrad and in industry grad uh, the whole rationale was, hey, perhaps I can actually start producing more steel uh, if we have more coal coming in. And indeed, that looks looks like it's working. To be honest, it, it's uh, it's pretty darn it's pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with it. Resources are missing coal. I mean, that's true, I guess technically. But whatever the case. Anyway, uh, let's get down to business. Let's actually do what I said I was going to do. Uh, do we want to start a train running first? I think that we want to set up a train first. 
So, let's set the train up so that it visits... Oh, we did get a new train, by the way, and that train, I think, might actually be... It might actually be worth us buying this, this train. Now, this train, I'm pretty sure, is electric. Yeah, it's electric. Which means we're, we'd need to electrify the track if we wanted to utilize this train. It is very, very fast, though, but there's no real need for us to... Ooh, what is this? It's an open car? Uh, let me see. Cargo wagon. Ah, it shows up now. And that's opposed to a box car, I guess? Or, sorry, a flat car? It carries slightly less of everything. And it's slightly heavier. Sorry, remind me why I would want to purchase this? Not entirely sure, but okay. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We're getting distracted. Okay, diesel locomotive. I do want to buy the slightly cheaper train. It's uh, it's just as fast. It doesn't it doesn't have as much engine power, although it is still technically cheaper. So I'm gonna just buy that train and and sort of suck it up, I guess. Uh, yeah, the T3 M2 is pretty good as well, but this is slightly better. Slightly better. It's got a, about a hundred more killer something or others of towing capacity. Let's get some oil wagons. Boy, oh boy, this is going to become very, very expensive. Very, very fast. And then we're going to need to set it up to go to the drop-off point first, because otherwise... I mean, just because of the place that the depot's in, we're going to have to set it up to, to go to the drop-off point first. Right, so, first of all, let's go to here. And I want you to unload 100% of everything. And then, proof is in the pudding. We'll go to here. And we want you to load 100% of oil. I mean, not like it's not going to be oil anyway, but hey-ho. Let's give it a crack, see if it works. Bada-bish, bada-boom. That's looking pretty darn good to me. Yep, everything, everything looks fine. Can confirm... No problems, no problems in the train network. Everything looks A-OK -okay at the moment. It's pretty apparent when the train network falls to bits because usually when it turns to night, uh, there is no, there's no light anywhere. Okay, so yes, the train should be coming out here. This is the one. No issues whatsoever. Coming down into here. Beautiful, and now you'll head to the next part, which is all the way over here. Grant. Okay, uh, let's pause and take stock of where we are. I think that we should, by the way, have a steel train that's almost ready to go. So that's going to be 160,000 rubles or whatever, whenever that uh, actually dispatches. So that's quite nice. Okay, uh, what we want to try and do is we want to basically try and set up a situation which will allow us to get money from the get-go. I think we're... Was it this one that I said? Yeah, related vehicles. Yeah, one. Okay, so let's start pumping into these three... These three tanks as soon as possible. Alright. We want to try and get about half of the production coming in over here. Okay. We're gonna have to auto-build from rubles because we're too far away from civilization. That can go there. That can go there. Perfect. Now, I would wager that this is going to be too far. Hmm. Or maybe it won't be. Very peculiar. Uh, let's think about this for just a second. We've got this oil pump over here and then this oil pump over here. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe if I put one in the middle like so... And then connect. That work? That works. Indeed it does. 30,000 rubles. This is a heck of an expensive venture. Oh my goodness gracious me. 
All right, and that goes down there. Perfect. And then I can put a pumping station in here. See if that works. Oh, beautiful. That looks like it's just about as long as it can possibly be. There we go. And then let's get that. Oh, it's just a smidgen too long. It's not a smidgen too long. It works, and it works a total charm. So that is... Okay, one group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three, four groups of three, five groups of three, six groups of three that will all pump into this tank. Six groups of three. So how many does that leave us? One, two and a half, three, four... Five, six, seven, and an extra one. Okay, I think that that is actually a fairly good amount. 5,000 rubles all the way down to... Or 500,000 rubles, should I say. All the way down to not very much. 280,000 rubles. That's actually totally fine. I'm not worried about that even slightly. Uh, okay, good. So that will all pump into this oil fuel storage. That's grand. It might be an idea that we try and split up, yeah, production a little bit, or uh, split up storage, should I say. So we'll, we'll get that transfer on, which is lovely. Yeah, as long as we share it equally between the three, I don't think we'll have any problems. Okay, so that is that. That's great. The next step is electricity. Now, we should have electricity in here. And as such, we should probably have electricity in this, uh, these wires right here. Okay, let's cancel that wire there, and let's put in a high-voltage switch. Let's do this, and connect up these wires like so. This is also going to be a little bit of an expensive, um, an expensive operation, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, now we get a transformer to take the electricity down to a regular amount. It's going to be a little bit expensive too, but not too, not super expensive. Looks like we've got uh, power over here, which is grand. Let's pause and have another little look at the power and the placements of... What am I doing? Clicking the wrong buttons. Uh, the electric substations. Yes, so... I want to try and do this with as few electric substations as possible. I think that one over here... Pretty essential, obviously. Okay, let's do... Do that, that one there. And then... I can barely see which direction these arrows are pointed in. That there. Perfect. And let's do this. Perfect. And... Is that actually connected? Yep, that is connected. Okay, that's perfect. So that should power all of those bad boys. So that'll be pretty much all of the production that we... Or all of the pumps that we need to uh, to pump to are actually should be up and running. I would actually expect that we get quite a lot of oil from this. That building is without power supply. That building is fine. So we need to just get power supply over here. All right, that can be our next operation. Power supply right in the center here. Great, that's the completely wrong orientation, but you know what? That's workable, that's fine. Alright, take it around this way. Angle of connection is too sharp. I mean, it is just wires. I'll never understand why it's not possible to turn wires at 90 degrees, but whatever. Alright, and that goes in there. Grand. 
So that should work. We should have, we should definitely have oil. 1.1 tons of oil. Perfect. 5.4, 5 point something. Uh, it's not split evenly, but it is split evenly enough. This is fine. It's only reporting 1.1 tons of oxygen, uh, oxygen, uh, 1.1 tons of oil, but that's fine. It will, it will change uh, as we go. That building is without a power supply. That building is presumably without a power supply as well. That has a power supply. Power supply over here. Power supply over there. Power supply over there. Absolutely grand. Next. Next, we probably want to power up is here, I would wager. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, can't even see the direction of the arrow. Okay. Good. Do that there. And we will get our next connection. Oh, direct. Beautiful. And then... Well, this is going to be a little bit, little bit of an issue because uh, it's on water. Does this have a power supply? No. That area does have a power supply, though, so we're going to need to get a, another couple of bits and bobs over here. Yep, looks good. And connect this suitably to here. Okay, that leaves us with one connection, so we're probably going to have to get a whatever it is uh, splitter. That's not going to be too challenging to do at all. What about this? Is this area powered? That that area powered? That's powered. That area is not powered. Okay, maybe we can get away with just one more actually, like here. You know what, I, I actually think that that might not be the craziest thing in the world. Yeah, let's do that. Again, no guarantees that this will actually work, but uh, here's hoping. Okay. And there we go. Alright, so... Uh, that should be all of our pump jacks working. What have we got? 125 tons of oil with very minimal effort. That is pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. And this is only our first train. This is going to really, really up our oil game. Yeah, this is going to be very, very good. Now, we still need to get this, uh, this setup connected. We need to make sure that all of this is up and running. And I think that that's what we're probably going to do right now. Uh, we also need to place our pumping stations with the sort of constraint of having, uh, with the constraint that we now have of making sure that we make everything, make sure that everything is powered. All right, I should probably do this in pause mode. Overlaps with existing construction. Really? There we go. And then this sole pump jack out here, that can be connected up manually. And then let's get this over here. We do have to kind of dodge wires a little bit, but nah, it's fine. Nothing to worry about there. Okay, that one's connected, that one's connected, that one's connected, that one's connected. Okay, so we've got here, here, and here. Now, can we bridge across this water? to connect up more pumping stations. I think that we might be able to, you know? Okay. Let's give this a shot. So let's see if we can get a pipeline to come around here. I love how pipelines work, by the way. They're so easy to connect up. I mean, they cost an absolute arm and a leg. Don't get me wrong, they absolutely do. However, they're pretty darn easy. Okay. Up here. 
Let's get this. Ooh, it's so close. It's so close. There we go. I mean, yep. Yes, please. And that can go to there quite easily. That's connected up. Uh... I somehow suspect that this might be too long a stretch. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think that there's any better way of doing this, to be honest. What I might just do is I might just add on... a little bit of extra land to help us out along the way. Sure, you know what? Let's connect it up. Let's connect it all up. Why not, eh? You can't build this building on the water? Right, sure. Just forget about it. Alright, and then that goes there. It's still connected, of course, to the power network. Alright, good. I think that that is everything. I think that that is ab absolutely everything. Uh, we still need to connect this. Still need to connect this up. But that shouldn't be too challenging. Just like so. Uh, yep. Yep. And yep. And then we'll do this. And that, and pray that we don't run out of money. That's... Of course. Of course, we're we're out of money. We're out of money. Good. Uh, but actually, I think one trip of the steel uh, train, which may be almost there. That's an oil train. That's 83,000 rubles. Oh, also, something else I did is I expanded, uh, I expanded this setup, so now we actually have uh, three three delivery points over there. What I didn't do is put a signal here, though. There we go. So it works a little bit nicer. Uh, I think, honestly, 80,000 rubles is probably going to be enough to finish the construction of whatever we're working on. I say that. Optimistically, perhaps. Maybe rather optimistically. It is a pretty expensive endeavor. 1.3 tons of oil, 52 tons, 53 tons, nothing in there. I mean, I guess that's like the overflow storage tank, right? The point is, the point is, the very important point is, is that we've now got oil deliveries. Where's the, where's the oil train? He's about to get in. He's about to get in and, and deliver. 66,000 rubles on that train. Great. We've got a lot of workers working here. We've got a lot of people working hard. Whole system is working pretty darn well, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with everything at at, uh, at present. Yep, everything looks good to me. Everything looks very, very good to me. There might be the occasional hitch, but it's it's fine for the most part. Yep. Let's watch this bad boy come into come into the station. He needs to get his stuff unloaded. Uh, and then we'll see what happens there. Oh, actually, yes, that's a very important point, actually. There's not anywhere for it to go. Oh, look. Are our cash worries cured? Oh, yeah, that's actually a bit of an issue. Uh, I straight up don't have uh, any... Straight up do not have any storage over here. Oh, but that's what I was going to do. I was going to pump it into this system, wasn't I? Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do. And it was going to be dirt cheap. And it was going to be a very, very temporary solution, but it was going to work. Okay, let's have one, one thing there. Again, maybe not the brightest idea financially. Actually, what am I doing? Hold on, demolish this. Didn't actually do any work on it anyway, so that's fine. Put it over here instead. Put it in a pause menu. Put it in a pause menu? 
Oh, I don't have any. I don't have any money. Don't build that from rubles then. We we can do it manually. All right. Put the oil storage in there. Just one oil storage, I guess, for now. I mean, that's the only. That's all that we can afford, really. And then that goes there. And then it's literally just a case of plugging that in here. Too sharp a t Really? Come on, dude. Okay, try again. There we go. Okay, and that's th that. That in itself is 77,000 rubles. All right, let's set that up. Sure. But that will sort us out. That is what we need. And that should uh, immediately move the oil to that storage tank. And after it's been moved to that storage tank... Uh-oh, where are our workers? They're coming. Slowly but surely. There's not any delays, are there? No delays over here. Everything looks... Everything looks fine. Yeah, everything looks absolutely A-OK -okay to me. Look at this. We're going through coal like there's no tomorrow. We um we probably could do with yet another uh, coal train between Industry Grad and Coal Grad. Also, is that steel being delivered now, by the way? I think that might be still being delivered. Is that still not enough to fully fund all of my, my projects? Wowzers. That's expensive. 177 tons of oil. Yeah, this is why this is why we built this area with so many loading slash unloading points. Because it's gonna be it's gonna be producing a heck of a lot of oil for us. It's very, very exciting. Uh, also, power wise, are we able to produce enough power now? Uh, it doesn't look like we're it looks like we're producing more than enough power. Alright, that's great. And we're not producing any power over here because we've not got enough coal coming in. See, that's what's crazy, is that all of our coal is being gobbled up by uh, this train, which of course is where we actually want it to go, because that's how we make real money uh, with steel production. Oh look, 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 we've got money again, we've got money again. The steel train was delivered. Uh, auto fund construction of that from rubles, sure. Alright, thank golly goodness. But it looks like we might actually now see our first delivery of oil to this area. And it's going to be a full train as well, because the train is going to be restocking and loading up 100%. Drawing down on all of the oil reserves might even be a, a completely full load. Almost very, very close to being a full load. Also, we need to get a train... That's 300. That's 300 tons of oil in just those three. In fact, it's over. It's almost 600,000, actually. That's a heck of a lot of... Uh, that's a heck of a lot of oil that we've got going on. This is a silly name for somewhere. And it needs to be eliminated. Get out of here. Okay, so as soon as we have the opportunity to get uh, another one of these trains, we're going to absolutely take that. All right, looks like there's a little bit of a blockage here, but I'm I'm hypersensitive to the train network getting gunked up because if the train network gets gunked up, then you know everything is everything is awful, really. Hmm. You know what would be quite nice to do is rather than having the coal train queue up over here because there's often there's often a little bit of a queue over here. Be good to get another bypass, a bypass to the bypass to, you know, to bring it down here and connect it up over here somewhere. So as soon as it's crossed the bridge, it can go its own way and uh, deliver coal much more, much more readily to where it needs to go. It's not really a problem, but it's just something to think about, I guess. Yeah. Alright, things are good though, things are good. We're producing a heck of a lot of steel. What's our unemployment figures, just out of curiosity? Our unemployment figures are very, very high. That's a new vehicle. That's a train set. Alright. Don't really use train sets, but whatever. That's a boxcar. Yeah, quite a lot of, um, quite a lot of unemployed people. Not thrilled about that, but... It is what it is, I guess. 
Okay, yeah, we are draining a heck of a lot of coal. We just go through a lot of coal. Yeah, as I say, look, see, there's already a, a little a little tail back over here. And it also doesn't help that only one train can be in the tunnel, one train can be on the bridge at one time, which is a little bit of an annoyance. Also, these trains right here, I feel like one of these trains should be repurposed. Okay, you go to the second depot. Can you... Can you go to the depot here? Is that going to be a possibility for you, or are you going to find that a little bit of a challenging prospect? You are going to find that a little bit of a challenging prospect. Oh yeah, there's no there's no way to access this depot from this train line over here. Uh, that can sort of be amended, I guess. Maybe? Yeah, or maybe not, actually. Hmm. Uh, okay, how are we gonna... How are we gonna send this train back to the depot? Because there's nowhere else for it to really go. Alright, cancel, go to the depot. Just turn around and continue on. Pretend like nothing ever happened. We've got enough... We don't really have enough... We don't really have enough, um... Enough work for these guys to continue justifying their existence. What would be better is if we set up one of those trains to take oil from this area down to Oilgrad. That's 527 tons on that one train. Even if we could get just one other train. Look at that! That's over a thousand tons of oil ready to go. Yeah, so we need another... We definitely need another train. That's... Uh, there's no question about that. We're a little bit short on cash at the moment. Uh, we could probably get half an oil train. And I suppose, you know what? It, it might be worth keeping those three uh, oil trains, oil delivery trains, I guess. Purely because... Purely because we're going to be making more oil stuff anyway, and therefore it'll be worth it. Uh, yeah, 14,000 for a tanker wagon. A couple more thousands and we'll actually be completely okay. When's the next, when's the next train going to be dispatched? Steel train? Go to the customs house now on the steel train. And that will give us the resources that I think we need to make everything work very, very smoothly. Wonderful. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about earlier. About having the, the backlog. Why has that only got 220 tons? Why has that only got 220 tons? How much has this got? It's got zero tons. Where's my... Where's my... Where's my train? Oh, it's almost... It's almost there. Okay. All right, fine. Maybe... Maybe we've got too much, uh... Maybe we've got too many trains drawing from not enough resources. Or maybe we just need more workers over here. Yeah, how many tons of coal ore per day? A hundred... Two hundred and seventeen... Two hundred and ten tons of coal ore? I mean, that is quite a lot. I don't think we really need to worry about that too much. Uh, basically, my thought process is, is if we can get the steel train to uh, go to the customs house, sell something, then that would be great. How's our oil unloading situation going here? Not too badly. However, we don't have enough workers in... We don't have enough workers in either the chemical factory, presumably, yep, or the oil refinery to comfortably produce as much as we possibly can. Building fire? Uh-oh. This is a hot bit of bother. Where is the building fire? Oh, it's no... Oh. 
to be honest, I think we just let it burn. Let it burn. Sack it. Hopefully it doesn't cause an explosion, but it doesn't look like it. Let it burn. That's not something that I really want to deal with. It's annoying that we're going to have to get another one in there, but at the end of the day, not the end of the world. There is literally no chance that we ever get a fire station over here. Maybe in some weird world uh, we could set this up to get roads into play over here, but I don't think so. Not for a while anyway. It would involve a heck of a lot of effort. Okay, that's as many uh, that's as many wagons as we can possibly attach. Oh, how good, how good the 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 train is just coming in past. Uh, but actually, I don't want to copy the uh, move orders of this train because we want it to be going to different stops. We want it to go here. I want it to unload there. Uh, we want it to unload in Oilgrad. Unload. Yep. Unload 100% of anything, and then we want it to go over here, and we want it to load at Oil Minsk. We want it to load 100% of oil. Start. There we go. Wonderful. That's going to be quite a backlog of oil to get through, but Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Alright, can we rebuild this oil derrick? There we go. You can do it in the uh, appropriate orientation as well. There we go. Simple as that. These things only cost 8,000 a pop, so there was literally no reason to build a fire station for 20,000. Yep. Building is without a power supply? No. Don't say it ain't so. Where's the nearest power supply? Did I... Is this such... Is this so on the edge? Building is without power supply? Oh, both of these things without a power supply. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fine. Alright, well, we clearly have to get another... Another pylon set up over here. Yep. Alright. Do that. And then get a medium voltage switch. And we'll just connect. Connect it up over here. Disconnect this wire. Disconnect that wire. Bish. Bash. Why sometimes do you let the wires stretch out a heck of a long way, and then other times we have to buy so many stinking pylons? Who who even knows? Alright. And fund that as well. Alright. Grand. Now we should have oil. Okay, great. So does that mean that... Does that mean that we'll have even more oil over here now? Well, why? Why, yes, it does. 400 tons of oil. Was that the new train or the old train? I think that must be the... Uh, the old train. This has got to be the new train. I think. And it looks good. It looks very, very good. It's going to take us a little while to become uh, super profitable with oil. Although, it's something at least. We're definitely making a lot more money now. We're definitely spending a lot more money as well, but for the most part, it is fine. Chemicals are barely even worth it for us at the moment. 5,000 rubles per journey. It's just not worth it. I, I want to transition and start making uh, plastics and also... Yeah, and also, uh, what's it? Clothing. That's what I want to do. Definitely want to do clothing. But that will have to be in a different episode, I think. For now, we just want to make sure that the oil system is uh, running as well as it possibly can. Let's have a little watch of this train as we see it approach Oil Minsk. And then we'll, we'll, see, what it's, we'll see what it's all about. 
Oh, yes. Look at all of this money. It's glorious. It is glorious. Mm, can I delete the name of that town? Yep, good. I don't think I can delete the names of any others. Sometimes you just have to have the name in the middle of nowhere for some obscure reason. What's this? TV61? Thank you for that. Glorious. Glorious information. Alright. Now, I'm expecting a... What? Uh, what? Sorry, what? What, 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 what? Is it because it's not got power? I think it might be because it doesn't have power. Although technically it shouldn't need power. If it's just a pressure-fed system. Uh, okay, well that's a uh, significant annoyance, but it is what it is, right? Alright. The last bit of power that we're going to have to do this episode, I swear. Right. Delete that wire right there. Medium voltage switch. Yep. 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 Fund all that. Fund that. Fund this. Okay. Great. Now, I want you not to go around the whole system again, but unfortunately, I don't think that you have any option. Yeah, I think you might have to go all the way around again. That's a bit of nonsense right there, but hey-ho. Also, we are almost to max. Almost at maximum oil storage, which is not something that we want to have happen at all, I would hasten to add. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 hey. I just had a great idea. My idea was, instead of it just going to one, uh, one oil filling, one all one oil filling guy, they can go to both of them. They can just alternate. So it'll be this one, then unload, then this one, then unload. Hmm, I don't know if that that might be a little bit of an overcomplicated setup, and it shouldn't technically be necessary as soon as we get uh, as soon as we get this working. Uh, yeah, I think that, okay, I'm going to do something very cheeky here, okay, and then I'm going to tell you to go to here, change direction of the train, and go to there. Hopefully you won't cross a point, a uh, signal even. There we go. Should work just fine, right? Okay, that did kind of work just, just about. Just about how we wanted it to. Okay, and then we delete this horrific little monstrosity here. And forget that it ever happened. Alright. Now let's see. You're going to fill up. Beautiful. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of oil. Probably not enough to fill fill you right up to the top, but hey ho. Now we are almost preaching maximum capacity. Approaching maximum capacity. Great, we're starting to drain the oil. Perfect. Now this will definitely hit maximum capacity for sure. So we're gonna be delivering 1,200 tons of oil within the space of about two minutes, I would suggest. Right, this is very, very good. And this is where the money's at, folks. This is where the money is at. All that we need to get our people to do is turn up to work at the oil refinery. And it will be refined into glorious fuel and bitumen. 
Okay, yeah. And already, we're starting to see the strains on the system. We need to get more people. We need to get more people over here. The problem is, is that it's very, very challenging to do that. Very, very challenging to do that. Because we've got a very, a very limited amount of capacity uh, in our train stations, and we need we need more people. We need more people. Uh, Eighty something people without much power. What? Does no one have power in this city? Huh. I don't think people have power over here. Oh no. That's a little bit of an oversight if I do say so myself. Uh, yeah, can I... Can I amend this? Maybe build you a little substation or something? Uh, yeah, build that there. All right. Not entirely sure why this hasn't happened already. Yeah, wow. You literally do not have any uh, power connection. I cannot even believe that. Why is that... Why is that the case? Did I maybe demolish a... Uh, did I maybe demolish... Demolish a substation and then just forget to rebuild it? To be honest, that's entirely plausible. Entirely, entirely plausible. Okay, now, is there another connection over here that I can just piggyback on? Oh, there is. Beautiful. I think we want to probably... Take it from here. Uh, do that. Like so... Yep, looking good. Also, these oil derricks around the city, I know that I can, that I know that I can use them. It always seems a little bit unfair to the citizens of my glorious republic to put them through more annoyance and more faff. All right, all of these guys should now have power, right? Okay, that's great. Does that mean that more people are going to come out and work? Nineteen workers without a job. Just go here. Go there. Everyone go to the Potato Grad train station. 16 workers without a job. 3 workers without a job. A church or place of spirituality. I mean, do we even have the ability to build a, a church or place of spirituality? I don't even think that there is the ability to do that. Also, a pollution monitoring system. Nah. I wanted to build a television station and a uh, radio station and headquarters of the, the Communist Party as well. That is what I'm interested in doing. However, I don't think that I can build a church. I'm pretty sure that I can't. Food and crop related. No livestock. Farm. No. None of that nonsense. Trees and accessories. Soviet emblem. I want to build all that stuff myself. Various industry, no. Electronics assembly hall. Yeah, I think that we've now officially completed all of the research. I think that we've completed all of the research in the technical university. Now, as the game is updated, there may well be uh, the opportunity to do more research. But at the moment, I think that that's, that's about it. That's, that's about it. Okay, 46 workers. Yeah, we need to get way more we need to get way more people working over here. Problem is that I don't even know how that's possible. I don't know how we do it. I do not know how we do that. What's our unemployment figures like now? Very, very high. Holy cow. Holy cow, would you look at the numbers of kids in the classroom? And then in the schoolyard as well. Yeah, I think we're going to need to fix unemployment. We're going to need to go on a... Uh, I mean, this this the whole setup is... Um, I mean, it's worrying, worrying at the moment. 
21 workers without a job over here. Yeah, that is worrying. No cultural enjoyment. Fair enough. Two workers without a job, two workers without a job. No electronics, no food, nothing. It's a pretty miserable, it's a pretty miserable time that people are having in Potato Grad. There's rarely any food. There's always meat though. There's always meat. Not quite sure why there's no, no food at, at present. We've got a heck of a lot of food waiting to be delivered. Ah, yes, here comes the food truck. Uh, to be honest, if this is in walking distance of pretty much everyone, why don't we have just like a bespoke food truck? We could just have a bespoke food truck for this place. Just sort of by itself. Uh, that might be an idea. I'm not super attached to it. They're a hardy bunch, the residents of Potato Grad. They're managing to, they're managing to survive and thrive without food. Well, I don't know about thriving, but they're definitely surviving. I'm just worried. I'm just wondering how we can increase the the productivity of our um, of our oil refinery. Two hundred and thirty workers. I mean, two hundred and thirty workers is a lot, but it's not really. Not really enough. We need more. We need more workers than that. Presumably we'll have... Yeah, the maximum number, or close to the maximum number in the chemical plant. But getting more workers in the oil refinery really is key. Ooh, that's 240 workers, actually. I might take it all back. Yeah, that is pretty darn good, actually. Okay, that's close to peak performance. Yeah, I like that. That's very, very good indeed. And that means that this train is going to be filling up very, very quickly. Which is just the way that I like it. Alright, is there another signal on this uh, bit of track? Because if there's not, I need to add it. There we go. Extra signal. Okay. Just need to make sure that the trains delivering from oil mints have the opportunity to come through the tunnels. 470 tons of oil. How much have you got? 600 tons of oil. Holy cow. I just had a great idea. I just had the best idea in the entire world. We've got... These trains, right? These trains are delivering to the large customs house. But they're coming back empty. See where I'm going here? If the trains are coming back empty, there is nothing stopping us after going to the customs house. Go here, load 100% of anything, and then come back here and unload. Yeah, that is an incredible idea. That is absolutely perfect. I mean, we're going to need to do some slight modification to the tracks. To the tracks. Uh, we're going to need to... Going to need to get a piece of track going from here to here. And that may well prove to be a bit of a problem. Too sharp a turn, really? Uh, don't like how this is not working. If it could work, then that would be pretty much ideal. Uh, because we do need to get an extra little bit of track over here. Uh, too big a descent downhill. Too much climber descent at the sides. I mean, 
Does it look bad? I guess it kind of does. Alright, we'll try and level this area and then we'll we'll give it a shot. This is a great idea. I'm I'm convinced that this is this is gonna solve not solve our problems, because it's not exactly a problem at the moment. But it's just gonna help increase uh increase efficiency uh, tenfold almost. Okay. That's looking good. There we go. Grand. Uh, so that's one piece of track modification that we need to make. And then the other piece of track modification that we need to make is... Is over here. And it will be a connection from this piece of track to that piece of track right there. There's no reason why all of our trains can't operate on uh, this sort of similar system. There we go. There we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I feel like that's so perfect. Uh, where's the train that we lost? I say we lost, we, we haven't lost it. It's here. Okay, so. Let's stick it in double time speed. I wanna watch this train uh, to see if this proof of concept actually ends up working. So basically, the whole idea is is that it drops its load at the border. After it's dropped its load at the border, it comes back, takes 600 tons of oil, unloads it, then goes and picks up a whole bunch of processed oil, i.e. bitumen and fuel, takes it back to the border, and repeat. I think that is a pretty darned good way of doing things. And it means, of course, that uh, we can basically replicate this across all of our uh, current, the current trains that go to the border. Can I remove this? I can indeed. Uh, yeah, so all of the trains that currently go to the border can all help out and uh, take some oil back with them. That's just pretty darn good. Alright, unload, 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 unload. Make me lots of money. I'm at a, I'm, at a, I'm very, very close to a point where I'm just about to really explode in terms of money. We're very, very close to making a lot of money. And in fact, I think if we were just to let it run for, you know, 20 minutes, 20 minutes right now and not spend anything, not faff around, keep it in double speed, you know, I think we'd probably crest a, crest a million rubles right now. All right, now the proof is in the pudding. This is gonna be the longest and most complex. Okay, I'll keep an eye on this guy as well. Uh, the longest and most most complex uh, series of tasks ever in any train. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Even more money, even more money. The great thing is, is that it's it's so easy because it's all oil stuff that's being transported. So it's the same tankers, same same stuff, same vehicle, same train. Oh man, I'm so happy with this. Okay, let's see if you you go where you need to go. Indeed, you do. Man, I love oil Minsk. It's so nice. It's so darn good. Okay, you've got presumably a full train of oil. Yep. Okay, let me just pause here a second and have a little look. Okay, 900 tons. So, after this, you go... I'm going to set this up for the, the fuel train. You go here, load 100% of anything. Uh, cancel that. And after this, set you to unload here. And then I want you to do move to there. Okay. Let me just check to make sure that this train can manage it. Yep, that looks good. And then let's go back to Oil Minsk and check on this train and see that this train is uh, is working properly. Because the whole point is is that I really should not be uh, I really should not be at a hundred percent capacity for all of my for all of my oil storage tanks. So. That would definitely be something good to uh, to fix, and if I can fix it, then that would be... If I can fix it now, that would be great. 
I can fix it with basically no extra cost as well, which is fantastic. Actually, hold up. What I should probably do is I should copy the current orders and paste them onto this train. Hold on. Yeah, so this is just a regular bitumen and fuel train. There we go. No issues there whatsoever. Man, that is so perfect. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. And that will really, really help get through the backlog of uh, of oil over here. Might take a while, but we'll definitely get there. Uh, we also should see a, another one of these trains swing along pretty quickly. But for now, that's 410, uh, 440 tons of oil. I am pleased with this. Very, very pleased with this. I mean, they're going this way anyway. We might as well get them to pick up some oil on their way back. Oh man, that's so great. That's so great. Oh, it's so great. It's really, really good. Uh, okay, all that remains to be seen is... Does this setup actually end up working? Uh, what? What? Why did you turn around? Hmm. Very peculiar. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Disaster has struck. Uh, I believe there's a fire station out here. Fire truck was called and is headed to this fire. All right, I don't know where the fire nearest fire station is. Is it maybe this one? Yeah, it looks like it, to be honest. Uh, whatever the case, it doesn't actually matter. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got a sticky situation. You know what? This is fine. Just remove that. Let it be gone. There we go. Nothing to worry about. It's all about oil. We're not going to get waylaid by uh, by train nonsense. Please, fire truck arrive soon. Where is the where's the fire truck? Whoa, 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 whoa! Where is the fire truck? Oh, come on, dude! Oh my goodness gracious me, this is going to be unbelievably close. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy cow. How close was that? It was like a millimeter away. That's twice that we've had like super clutch fire extinguishers. Okay, uh, where's our oil train? This is This is our train that's full of oil. That's great. You're full of oil. Perfect. Loads and loads of workers at the moment. Well, some number of workers. Not enough, unfortunately, but hey-ho. Okay, anyway, the proof is in the pudding. This guy should uh, unload his oil into here. Actually, oh no, this could be a problem. This will be a problem. This will be a problem because we don't have enough oil storage over here. Because we're not able to process enough of our oil. That is a real problem. That is a real problem. That was not a problem that I anticipated happening. But you know what? We're going to have to deal with that problem in the next episode. Because that's it for now, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for watching. I have, of course, been over to Potato. This has been Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I'll see you next time. Bye.